From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. You know, we just like to be in the middle of everything here. We're Action News, we're on the move, and we're in the tent. It's the Irish Festival in front of St. Patrick's Church. We're literally standing on 4th Street here, but of course it's closed off. What better thing to have going on there? My photographer Matt can show you Irish dancers on the stage. They're going till 7. They have other music besides that, but you know, they've got food, they've got festivities. No, I'm not going to go dance it on the bar here, but what we want to show you is that if you make the turn here on the corner here, you got everything from Irish coffee to liqueur. I think it, they've got a bit of the mead, you know, the honey stuff. And uh, of course, I'm sure there's some Jameson there as well. So uh, why don't you come over here and we'll talk about what's going on. Uh, good to see you. You haven't had any of the Guinness yet, have you? Not, not no. a drop. Yeah, if I did, I wouldn't be able to stand here. You wouldn't be able to get up on the table. So tell us about the festival, what it's already started, when it ends, what it costs, and all the stuff that you could think of that's highlights and going on. All right, what you need to know is it's free to get in. Okay. It's free to park here. Okay, we have all kinds of food. We have all kinds of Irish food. We have all kinds of Irish beer. We have music, as you can see, all night long. Uh, we have a bagpiper coming on here in about a half hour. Okay, what happens um, tomorrow and Tomorrow Sunday? we have the Tan and Sober Gentlemen, we have the Spain Brothers, we have the Low Kings, we have entertainment all day, like high energy stuff that you can dance to. And Sunday? Church tours. Uh, Sunday, there's going to be some bake sale stuff here all weekend, so the ladies You got food, you got a church that's a like 160 years old, yeah. you got drink, you got wonderful people, and you got great weather. So, weather's, uh, great. weather's looking good, and to tell us more about that, let's send you back to Summit Township. Our studios at Jet, Jacob Matthews, what's the forecast look like? Well, St. Patrick's Day may be six months away, but who says you have to wait that long? Go out and enjoy your Irish heritage and have some fun over at the St. Patrick's Cathedral in downtown Erie on the U.S. Nanning weather camera. Looking at a lot of sunshine weather-wise, and we're also seeing no rain showers in northwestern Pennsylvania being picked up on the radar, and that's all thanks to high pressure. Temperatures are also going to decline down to the 50s, maybe even to the upper 40s later tonight. Then we're going to see a nice increase thanks to more sunshine for tomorrow. Lots of sunshine for Saturday and even into Sunday, but we could see a few chances of late day showers for Sunday and more showers for Monday. Speaking of temperatures, we're seeing them mainly in the low 70s along the lake shore and more in the mid 60s in cities like Fairview. And we're also seeing the mid to upper 60s over in Warren as well as Youngsville. Thanks to Chatty Cathy for reporting that temperature. We're also seeing 60s and 70s in Crawford County. The high today reached 69 and the low 48 so it's definitely feeling fall like and we're going to continue to feel uh, like that for a while right now and we're also seeing uh Hurricane Lee eventually uh, diminishing down to tropical storm status, tropical storm warnings in Maine as well as the Boston Harbor. So be on the lookout for any riptides and high wind gusts, 60 to 70 miles per hour. But high pressure is going to block that away from us, thankfully. And that's gonna be for tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, but after high pressure moves out, we're gonna see cloud cover building in along with the cold front, which will eventually diminish by Sunday morning. And this low pressure system will overtake that cold front and will continue to bring in scattered showers into Central Central Pennsylvania and maybe even parts of northwestern Pennsylvania, but the higher chances will be for Monday. Looking at the low for tonight, possibly 49 with mostly clear skies, a few areas of fog, patchy fog possible for inland as well, low to mid 40s, and even cooler over in the mountains region, especially in the high mountain tops. We could see frost building up, so if you have any crops outside, be sure to put a tarp over them, protect them from the frost. Looking at tomorrow, we're seeing temperatures kicking up to as high as 72 with lots of sunshine. Sunshine continues for Sunday until we see another chance of showers Sunday night and into Monday. That's going to allow the temperature to stay away from the 70s for Monday. We're only going to see a high of 69, but temperatures rebound to the 70s Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 70s by the end of next week. Looking like a nice week ahead of us, despite seeing a few showers for Monday.